welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Tina and it is a cold one it is a very very cold one today and I am out thrifting I just went into I'm over in New Jersey I have to pick up a Facebook marketplace purchase at 2 o'clock so I'm thrifting in the meantime I just left my first store I haven't been there in over a year I was really trying to make an effort to film in there and my phone wouldn't stop ringing the lady who runs the front wouldn't stop talking to me <laughs> it was just like one of those things where it's like okay filming is not going to happen it's just not gonna happen so I'm headed to the second store also have not been there in well over a year uh, the first time that I went I really didn't find a whole lot it was a little pricey I'm gonna give it another shot I'm gonna give it another chance and see if they have anything so I did find um, a few things got a bag of jeans here and a pedestal dish from the first place I'll show that to you in the hall there goes my my GPS <laughs> so yeah let's go check out this next thrift store and uh, see if I can get some footage in there let's go alrighty so we have arrived at this possibilities thrift boutique and uh, I'm going to see if we can find anything good they've expanded this since I was last here. I don't think they had that back room open. And now they do. Ooh, it's like a weird feeling bowl. Just has some paint loss to it. Let's go. Some assorted dinnerware, tabletops ripple, I don't know if they have any full sets, this looks like random pieces, oh this is their, their valentine's day section and their St. Patrick's Day. And this is a Department 56 piece for $2. I'm not really sure what it's called. These usually have a name. I don't know if that's even popular. I didn't know they made like St. Patrick's Day sets. Mm, some dinnerware sets. Oh, okay, so these are the full sets that they're advertising on the table. Let's see if we can find anything to put in this cart. Oh, this stuff is very warped. Actually, I think that's fabric. I think that's fabric in there. Tape dispenser, but it's all chipped up. Some sporting goods, rollerblade, lightning. Oh, they look a little, a little warm. Frames, photo albums, nothing very interesting to me there.
Princess House set. The only thing from there that I really found sells is the Fantasia pattern. This is my section. Maybe, maybe not anything here though. I don't know. A little fused glass baking dish. Some sort. Watermelon cut up there. Dressed, spelled backwards, is desserts. House of Lloyd. Vintage House of Lloyd. Cookie jar type thing. Okay. It's a scrubber holder, but I have no use for that, but it is cute because you guys know I love bugs. Individual teapots. It's actually really cute. What are these? Oh, recipe boxes. I hear her saying something on sale, but I'm not sure what. We have a very worn Tyrex. Super worn. Almost looks like it might be Fenton. Assorted dinnerware. Oh wow, look at this. This is like, I don't know, made in India, so I think it's newer, just made to look old. Looks like an egg, an egg cooker of sorts. We have here a false graph, a newer pattern. Country living. Royal Dalton, Gordon Ramsay Mays. Huh. I wonder if that's like. Mm -hmm, that's pretty scratched up. I always have to check out the different patterns.
Lots of uh, <laughs> lots of really worn Pyrex. Look at this. This is this would be a nice set, but it's super dishwasher like worn. Someone used that heavily. The orange one doesn't look quite as bad, but the yellow is very very bad. Strawberries and watermelon. Alrighty. Oh, making a lot of noise. Apartment nine. Aid, two quart. So I'll scratch that. Palm. Alright, I think we're going to keep keep all of them right here. Clean auto dry. Oh, 
roll 20. Just a resin piece. Young's. This thing is super heavy. It looks like it wouldn't be. Oh. I've seen it. And Trivial Pursuit. Let's see what we have over here. Some Sims. I still have those Sims from the one rummage sale that I haven't done anything with. You know about our tag special? No, I don't. It's yellow. Okay. Red. Green and blue. Now this would be red. So oh, that's red. Two fifty. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. You said blue too? No, yellow. No. Red, green and purple. And yellow. purple. Purple, red, and green. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. The only two colors that are on sale are orange and blue. Gotcha. Orange and blue are not. Okay. I'm going to forget that in five minutes. like Fenton Silvercrest, but that is usually marked. Dip chiller. I really need to check the time. Okay, so I have to meet that lady soon for my flower. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to show you the haul. Uh, not super huge, but this is what I got. So at the first thrift stop where I didn't end up filming, I picked this up. This is Casa Fina, uh, made in Italy. It is like a pedestal bowl. Uh, this pattern seems kind of rare. 
So um, I think I think this will do okay. They actually had another piece. It was like a um, it was like an oil and vinegar set with a little caddy, but it looked like it was missing a couple pieces to it. Maybe like a salt and pepper. So I left it behind, but now I'm thinking maybe I should have picked it up. I don't know, but I'm not really going to worry too much about it. So um, also at that store, uh, like I said in the video, I did get some jeans. So I got two pair of these DL 1961 Emma. They're a small size, they're 26, but I got like a lighter wash and a darker wash, both in the Emma style. Jeans were $4 a piece. These seem to do okay. And then I got a pair of black Madewell jeans. These are nine inch high rise skinny, size 24, super, super tiny, super tiny. And then I picked up these Hudson size 25, Nico mid-rise, super skinny. So yeah, some decent jeans right there, even though they are very small sizes. So the next stop where I did film, I only got two things. So that is exactly why I don't go in that store very often because I just never really find a whole lot. So I got this Cuisinart popcorn maker uh, one, I think pretty similar to this, sold for $45 plus shipping. This I ended up, it was marked $5. I ended up getting it for $2.50 because this was considered a red tag. Although to me it looks kind of orangish, but I'm not going to argue. I got it for $2.50. So then the other thing I got there uh, was these pair of Clark's Cloud Steppers. I've sold this style before. Uh, they ended up being $2.50, size eight and a half. They look like they're in pretty good condition. So yeah, not a huge haul from the thrifts yesterday at all. All right, so then I went and picked up my flatware. This giant case of flatware. Ooh, giant chest of flatware, I guess I should say. Uh, it is now um, all listed except for, I think, some butter knives or something. But anyway, this is a really nice pattern. Um, so many different pieces. It's Oneida Fantasy Rose. Super nice set. So many pieces. Um, that I paid $110 for, but I will definitely well over triple my money. Um, actually, I think more. It, it's, I'll have to add it all up, but it'll do really well. So... Then at the same place, now what this was, uh, the woman had this posted on Facebook Marketplace and I thought maybe it was a family member who had passed or something like that. So, you know, I, I asked her, I'm like, well, you know, was this like a relative or whatever? And she said, no, she actually works for uh, a lawyer who was, I guess, hired to, take care of the estate or whatever. So she said that everything was being sold and donated to charity. It was all being, every all the proceeds were being donated to a church. Um, she said that a gentleman came in the day before and bought out like a whole bunch of stuff, a bunch of tools and stuff like that. So there really wasn't a whole lot left in there, but she did have something. So she said, you know, you can look around and, and see if you want anything else. So then I just paid for everything else I purchased, I paid $20 for an extra 20. Uh, this I grabbed, I thought it was nice. I didn't look any of this stuff up. There wasn't really any time. Uh, she had an appointment to go to after I was leaving. So I basically didn't have a whole lot of time there. And like I said, there wasn't a lot left anyway, but I got this Royal Dalton Images of Nature, um, like doves. And I don't know, I think I'll probably get like 15 for it. It's not gonna be super phenomenal, I don't believe. Uh, these I thought were really cool. So I decided to give them a shot. There is a little chip at the top, totally vintage. It's uh, copyrighted Modern Art Co. And then it tells you where to put the string. <laughs> these are like ceramic. 
or plaster, plaster or ceramic, I guess. So there's two of them, just kind of like wall plaques. And I don't know, I thought they were kind of cool. I might put these on Etsy. Uh, here, here's a close up of the marking. Couldn't find anything on these when I did a brief, quick look up. So I will have to check out a little more, but they're kind of, um, kind of neat. They're like, like impressed. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of cool. It looks like wood, but it's not. And then I picked, I picked up this set. Now, I actually picked up this same set, I think two years ago, maybe. And I got home and realized it was broken. So I ended up just trashing it, but it was, it was a different color. This is that um, Sirocco, Sirocco, Sirocco. I don't know, someone always tells me how to pronounce this. Can't remember. That's like everything you guys tell me to pronounce the proper way, I forget it. <laughs> like I'll retain it for a certain amount of time and then it's gone. So anyway, these are these are really cool though. Kind of like that mid-century vibe. It's an olive green trees with like all of these animals and they're like, they're just wall hangings. I think they're kind of cool though. So got those and I have one more. There's two more things in here. Maybe. Oh, I do. All right, so then I got this Holland, this Delft Blue knife. I think it's just like a, like a cheese knife. I don't expect to get a whole lot from that, but it's still in its little case and I don't know. Kind of bundled it with everything else. And then last item is this Vilroy and Bach uh, Botanica tray. Uh, this I actually thought might be worth a little more than it is, but I'm hoping to get maybe $20 for it. So, so there you go. But my big money maker is definitely gonna be that flatware. Most definitely. All right guys, so hope you enjoyed this video. Hope, hope you liked seeing a new thrift shop uh, that I haven't been in. I don't think I've, yeah, I don't think I ever filmed there. I think even when I was there last year, I didn't film there. So hope you enjoyed checking out a new place with me. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.